Hello everyone and welcome back to 50 Plus Luxury Style. I hope you're having a fantastic day. Today's video is all about the Chanel 19 large size. This is a good old fashioned review. What fits in my bag, how I use my bag, and my thoughts on the Chanel 19. If you're interested in finding out what I think and how I use it, just keep on watching. For purposes of this video, we are going to concentrate on the Chanel 19 in the large size. There are three sizes of Chanel 19s. There is the medium, which is really the small. There is the large, which is really the medium size. And then there is a larger size, which I'm not sure what it's called. And this is the large in Chanel vocabulary. All right, to get us started, let's talk about this beautiful bag. I purchased this Chanel 19 in February of 2021. It was from the 21P collection. It is black lambskin with gold hardware. It's got the large gold chain in the front. Of course, the strap with the mixed metals, gold and ruthenium. It has the back pocket, which has a magnet to keep it secure. And it is a single flap bag. Again, this is 21P. This is lambskin. And if you've been with me for a while, you know I was not happy when I received this bag. I'll link that video up above if you're interested or if you're new and you can go over there. But this is lambskin. Again, I've had this bag now for two and a half years. As you can see, the leather looks very, very beautiful, very supple. And I'm going to go ahead and show you everything that I carry. It is currently stuffed. I was using this last week for work and I'm going to show you exactly what is in the bag and we are gonna then take it from there. I'm probably going to drop the camera down so that you can see me taking the items out but I did want to mention it's a single flap and there is some exposure on the sides, especially if you're someone like me that loves to pack things inside of your handbag. I have never had an issue with anything falling out of my bag, but I do want to point out that it is a single flap and you may have a little bit of exposure on the side. Okay, here we go. Let's open her up. One flap. And let me show you her interior. As you can see, pretty good shape. Now, this is what I have. I have my Louis Vuitton sunglasses, which I am carrying in the hard case. I don't always do it, but whenever I can, I do leave them in the hard case to better protect them. I also have my small cosmetic pouch and inside I have just a few things. I like to keep a little band in case I want to put my hair up. Today I have a Tom Ford blush. I have a little hand cream that I actually received on my flight to Japan. Lens wipes. A Chanel lipstick, the Chanel mirror in the classic black, and a blush brush. Therefore, I do have items inside of my little cosmetic pouch. So I have this I also have a very, very tiny brush. I have my ear pods in here. This is part of my Kirogami set. 
And this is where I like to keep my AirPods. I have my reading glasses. I have a few pairs, but this is the one that I'm using right now for work. And the case is pretty large. I have a mini pochette. I love carrying these. And in here, I just have a plethora of things. I have extra credit cards that I don't use all the time, gift cards. I put receipts in here, my uh, AAA, BJ's, all sorts of cards that I don't necessarily use on a daily basis. And sometimes I may put some other things in there, but that's what's in there right now. I have my coin pouch. I don't use this very much. I rarely use coins, but I have it. And so I do carry it. I have my six keychain, which I love. I've had this for a very long time. And let me know if you're interested in a review because this item I've also had for years and years and years. And last but not least, right now, I am using this Chanel card holder as my wallet for my regular debit card and some of the credit cards that I use more frequently. And that is all. That's everything that I had in the bag. This handbag does have a zippered compartment in the back. And I have the original price tag oh my we shall talk about that later and i also have the the card and i probably shouldn't be carrying that in here but these are all the items that i had inside of my handbag as you can see it has a tremendous capacity the large size, which is really the medium, really can fit a tremendous amount of items. It will get heavy. However, if you're like me and you like to take a lot of things to work, if you want to make sure that you have anything and everything that you may need, then you don't have to worry. It will fit in this bag. All right, now that I've shown you everything that I had in my bag, let's talk about the bag itself and the condition of the bag. It goes without saying, I think the leather is in fantastic condition. As much as I complained because it was lambskin, this is what the bag looks like. I use this for work. Therefore, I really do not baby it in the sense of, of course, I don't throw it or anything like that, but it does go in the car. It then goes into my office. If I go to lunch, I take it. Uh, if we go to a happy hour, it comes with me. Bottom line is it's, it's really been used. And as you can see, without taking special care, it's in really, really good shape. I've never cleaned this bag in the sense like I've, I've never really done anything with the leather. So it's in really good shape. One of my concerns is because I carry so much in the bag, when I grab it top handle, which I do quite a lot, I, I was always concerned, like, will this detach? Will this break off? Well, nothing ha has happened. There is no wear here. There is no indication that there is anything that's going to happen because of grabbing it from the top with all of the weight. So that has never happened and I've been very, very happy with that. Oh, one thing I forgot to mention when I was going through the bag, I always keep my cell phone right here. I don't lie it across. I stand it right here for easy access and I don't have it there because I do film with my phone and I have the iPhone Pro Max 14 or whatever that one is. It's the largest one. In conclusion, 
it is in great shape. The one thing I would say, and the one thing I'm going to do is I'm going to get a Zumoni organizer for the bag. I have a lot of Zumoni organizers, but for whatever the reason, I never ever picked one up for this bag. I am going to pick one up because even though it has kept this shape, and that was one of the considerations that a lot of people were like, oh my goodness, the bag is going to be sagging, etc. Well, the bag normally is a little slouchy. But as you can see, it is not overly slouching. I am going to go ahead and order an organizer. As a matter of fact, I think Zumoni is running a special through the end of the month. I have a code. However, their special may give you more of a discount. I'm not sure. I will put all of the information down below. I am going to go ahead and order one for this particular bag because at this point, this bag is two and a half years old and I do want it to keep its shape. I understand that it's slouchy by nature, but I want it to keep its shape. So I am going to order that organizer and I think I do recommend that you do it. Now, looking at the interior of the bag again, there are no particular scratches to be seen. Here's the interior in fantastic shape, I think. Obviously, no stains. And, and in that, I do take care of my bags. I always have my keys and my key pouch. I never have pencils or pens if they're not inside of something. Therefore, the interior is in really really good shape. The only thing that you could say probably would be some hairline scratches to the twist lock, but I mean, that is perfectly normal. And I mean, I, I personally don't see much of anything. If you're new, welcome, welcome. My name is Isabel. I hope that you enjoy the video. And if you do, please click that subscribe button down below hit that like button. It's so helpful to me. It doesn't cost you anything, but it really helps my channel. And for my returning subscribers, thanks so much for coming back. Now, do I think this bag is worth it? All right, well, let's talk about that. Let me share how much I paid for this bag. I paid $5,600 plus tax back in February 2021. And I was upset at the time because I could have purchased it in November of 2020 and I passed on it and they had a price increase. So I was, I was upset. This bag today, I think, I think this size retails for $6,800. If I'm not wrong, let me know in the comments below. Obviously, it's more than a thousand dollars than what I paid for it. So, do I think it's worth it? Uh, I think it depends on each individual. For me, I have to say it has been worth it. I wasn't really sure how I was going to use the bag. I wasn't sure how the lambskin was going to perform. I wasn't sure how comfortable I was going to be putting items in the bag. I have four black bags. Two of them I consider evening or going out, and two of them I would say are work appropriate. One is this one, and the other work appropriate would be the maxi that I have, which you already heard that I think I want to sell it. Therefore, anytime I need a black bag for work, this is what I pull and it's extremely comfortable. This right here makes it so easy to get in and out of the car. And then if you have a lot of things in your hand, like a laptop and a coffee, you just go ahead and put this over your shoulder. It's comfortable. It doesn't pull with your hair. I, I really can't say anything negative about the bag. As a matter of fact, I've considered purchasing it in other colors because they've come out with stunning colors. The pinks, the purples, I just love them. In conclusion, I think this bag has held up 
extremely well. The lambskin has not given me any issues and that was one of the biggest things that I was concerned about. The capacity is fantastic. It's easy to use. It's got the mixed metal, so it doesn't really matter what you're wearing. Not that I really think that you need to match your metal to your jewelry and everything else. But I think it's really in great shape for a work bag. Lambskin is really, really good. And so, yeah, I'm happy that I purchased it. And it's one of the bags that I definitely do not regret getting. Well, that's it for today. Those are my thoughts on the Chanel 19 with the lambskin leather. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them in the section down below. I'll be happy to answer them and I will see you soon. Thank you. Bye.